If you're looking for a really fun way to introduce foundational math concepts to your child, be sure and check out Evan Moore's Smart Start Math series. It's available pre-K through one, and this full color activity book is very budget friendly at only $10.99, but it also has stories that introduce these math concepts in real life ways and activities to go with it. So I wanted to be sure and share that with you. And let's look inside and I'll show you one of my favorite things. Now, as with all Evan Moore books, you can do a complete flip through of each of the grade levels so you can decide which grade level is right for your child. And I'll talk about that in just a little bit. But within the table of contents, you see each of these weekly units. And um, I like that even these are kind of color coded, so it helps you to be able to differentiate which ones when you're scanning through. But it, and it tells you exactly what math skill that you might want to teach your child. So let's say if you're doing an activity that naturally does patterns, then you can skip ahead and do this one on patterning if you would like. There's a little bit of information about how to use the book, but the pages start with a story. And as I said, there's a QR code in the front that you can have it read to your child, or you can read it aloud to them and kind of track and see if they can pick out any words or talk about why the words are in color. You know, they go with a picture, things like that. But it, it sets them up to be successful right off the bat, something pretty easy. And there is the skill set label always at the top of the page so that you, the parent, know exactly what the focus is and the purpose of that activity. So as we go through, it starts off, you know, simply. Now, my child struggles with writing. So you can see that I wrote in gray marker, which is one of my favorite things to do. And then I let my child trace over this. This is a great strategy with any handwriting activity where they might be having a hard time. Um, and so this worked out really well. So some of these pages we weren't quite ready for. However, this quickly, this book quickly does progress into some appropriate activities for grade one. Now my child is not in grade one yet. However, we did complete the other full color activity book, the Skill Sharpeners Math. And this was a great resource for us as well. And so I felt like that the Skill Sharpeners was a perfect next step for us. Now, as you go through, I wanted to show you like this is talking about grouping by 10 and then having the ones left over, so place value. And so they do a story about putting 10 balls in a net and then having five left over to make the number 15. This is something that you can actually act out at your house. Like you can get, um, you know, like a little Ziploc bag and put in marbles or even beans or chocolate chips or just something fun like that and make these numbers. But I wanted to show you something else within this that I thought was so smart of Evan Moore. They actually intentionally did this at least twice so far where they're using the same digits but putting them in different order to try to bring attention to making sure that the kids understand that when the four is in the tens place, it is showing four groups of ten versus if there's four in the ones place, there are four individual items left over, not four groups of ten. So they're laying that foundation to really understand place value. And the reason why I chose this book for my child is because all of the educational shows that we that we watch and the activities, there was a boost needed in something just beyond basic counting and basic patterning. And this book delivers. And I wanted to show you that as well. So if your child is showing areas of giftedness or strength in math and they are in, you know, pre-K, kindergarten, then don't be afraid to look ahead at the next level. Like I said, you can go to Evan Moore and do a complete flip through, but this book is actually working out really well, except for the handwriting. But again, that is on me because we're just not uh, as advanced in handwriting as we are math concepts. But I chose this book for the math concepts because my child is ready for more advanced. So the other thing that they get into, and this is what I'm talking about, is like order of add-ins. This is a concept that is taught in first grade, but I felt like my child was ready to understand where it doesn't matter which order the numbers go in, you're still going to get the same sum or the answer. And so we're going very slowly as to not, and, and I let my child decide when, when we need to stop or keep going. Um, and so far, like I said, this is the first book that is chosen to do. So I'm really appreciating that. We get into fact family. So here's the very short story. And I love how they present it in a house with both the addition and subtraction options. And they teach them how to write the formulas. In fact, one thing that we did in the addition sentences was 
uh, learn how to make the plus sign the equal sign. And then we talk about writing across or writing down for our number sentences. So I, I really appreciate the depth and complexity that is in such a short, simple, focused lesson that is very kid friendly. I'm very impressed with this book. Um, the other thing that is introduced is math strategies about counting on like from a larger number. Like if you already have four and then you want to count up from four, you don't have to count one, two, three, four. You can say four, five, six, seven. And you, same thing with counting back on a subtraction. Now, another book that Evan Moore has that I absolutely love is called Building Math Fluency. And actually Building Math Fluency. And it actually has strategies for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Those quick um, tricks to learn your multiplication facts, your division rules, they're all in there. And I'll be sure and put a link to that in the, um, in the description as well. I don't have a printed copy. I have an ebook, but it is worth its weight in gold to teach your kids those math strategies. But Evan Moore is already touching on these strategies went right here at this foundational level, which I think is just so important and so genius. So the next thing that they're getting into is fractions. So here's the story um, and they can color the picture, the pie that is in half. So very short, set them up to succeed, make sure they understand the basics and then you move on. So then we get into fractions and it's not just let's color the half. They actually are showing them what that looks like. And I think that is just such a great way to introduce fractions. And then when you get into uh, measurement, they're starting with toothpicks, which is a non-standard measurement, which is labeled right here. And then the next unit is actually measuring with inches. And so again, I love that there's a story, but there are simple activities that helps them to practice. And so they feel successful, they understand. Now I haven't seen so far any cut and glue and paste. That is in the Skill Sharpeners book. This book does not have that. So I just wanted to make sure and note that to you. The other thing that I really liked was the telling time on a clock, digital and analog, because this is something that we see so many digital clocks. It's easier for kids to do that, but they wanted to still connect it to the analog, which again is important. And there's just fun stories to go with each of the lessons. Now, patterning, again, my child can do patterns very, very well. And this is something that was just a natural ability. However, labeling them into the AB patterns or the AAB patterns, this takes a little bit more thought. So I'm really excited to introduce this to my child because I feel like that it's time and it'll take patterning activities to the next level. So I'm really looking forward to that. The other thing I want to show you really quickly was the graphs. Again, graphing is a wonderful visual for them to understand counting and concepts and the tally marks. This was another thing that I am excited to introduce to my child. And of course, as we finish each activity, there, well, there's your answer key. I forgot to mention that. There are some full color stickers that you can use in the back. So this book has really, really impressed me. I love this book. It is to me, a wonderful introduction. And when we finish this book, then I feel like we will be ready to start working through the main math curriculum that Evan Moore offers called Math Fundamentals. And so we will be working through this. This book, and I'm not gonna go through this book, I just wanna show you quickly, this book actually has a lesson page and then activities, but it is all black and white. And so I felt like that the Smart Start Math truly is the best place to start. And once we're solid on these concepts, then we'll be ready to get more um, into a traditional, you know, black and white workbook where we can work through this and slowly as, you know, as we are ready. So anyway, so check out Smart Start Math. I really think that these stories make it fun. I feel like the, the concepts and the way they connect the math to real life events are going to make math be real to our kids and make it something that really sticks. So have you tried Smart Start Math? If you have, be sure and let me know. There are other books in the Smart Start series. Sometimes they have them on the back and they don't have this one. There's also a Smart Start um, Read and Write. There's a Smart Start Sight Words. And, um, and I think there may be other books coming out in the series in the future. So be sure and you can just search for Smart Start over at Evan Moore to see everything that is available. So again, highly recommend. We love this book and I think that it is definitely worth checking out if you're interested in your kids understanding 
foundational math concepts in real life ways. Thanks so much for watching.